Okay, so I look like hell and I should. Um, I don't even want to talk about all the crap that's happened since um, the last time I posted a video. I don't know anymore. Anyway, the hurricane is supposed to be coming for us. I told you before, where I live in Massachusetts, it's like if Cape Cod was an arm, it's in the armpit. So, um, they keep revising the forecast or whatever, but you know, I'm so tired, I'm so exhausted, I'm trying to fill the bathtub right now, just in case. I don't know why, you know, I don't know why I'm wearing a mask, I don't know why I'm doing anything life-preserving anymore, because it's like, I've complained so much about everything. What I went through in the last couple weeks, I already hated everything. Like I said, it's all everything that happens to me doubles down on the fact that it would be a godsend if I was removed from this planet. So why am I getting ready for a hurricane? I barely did. I didn't buy batteries or anything. I looked. There's like a couple batteries here and there. I got a handful of votives. You know, whatever happens, happens at this point. I can't even... I can't even tell you what I've been through. I've been brain dead. Brain dead. Like, I've been saying that, but I haven't been able to think. It's been so hard. I'm starting to come back because every time something happens to me, I get traumatized, as the kids say. And it's just like, after that, I feel like my brain doesn't work as well. So every time I go through something, my brain works less and less. And I, like I said, I'm on my own. And I need to figure out magical things, and I can't do it. I haven't been thinking since last September, and there's a reason, because there was nothing to think of. There was no more plan to make. I needed something to happen. I needed something magical to happen. I needed a big stroke of luck or something. But in terms of me just thinking of something on my own, that wasn't going to happen. You know, now I'm looking to make sure if I have everything. I just, I'm so tired. I'm so tired of hanging out. I'm so tired of trying to do things. Uh, trying to have enough food. Trying to make sure. Uh, just anything that normal people do is too much for me. Because I don't care about this anymore. I don't want to be here. So, all this shit. I mean, watching the news and everything. I can't believe the world we live in. I can't believe what I've seen this week in terms of the United States and business over there. I can't believe what I'm seeing. I can't believe that we've come this far, this, we've come, fallen this far so fast, you know, I don't know what's going on, like right now I'm trying to talk and my eyes are unfocused, I feel tired, I feel like I need to sleep, I don't feel even safe sleeping here, if you only knew the stuff, I just, and my problems aren't a crisis, you know, I, I, that's what happens to you when you need a little bit of help. You don't need every help. You're not the most bottom person in the world. When you're not that last, last level of person, there's no help for you. So you just stay at that level. Other people go up and down. They hit whatever the people consider rock bottom. They hit the worst of the worst as far as other people are concerned. And then they get help and they go back up. Or maybe they come down again and they go back up. But for me when I've needed the same very basic help for about 20 years because for whatever reason I can't figure out everything on my own it's like no you're not having a crisis your problems aren't bad enough figure it out on your own that's how it's been and it's like I'm tired of it I want to figure it out on my own I've been trying to figure it out on my own I just basically did everything not only on my own in the last two years, but there were only people standing in my way, only people making it harder. And then I still survived. You know, there was minute help here and there. But apart from some kind of monetary help, somebody loaning me money or stimulus checks or something like that, there was no practical help. Help with a plan, help with a path, help with anything. There was never any help getting a job so if that's what people think well good for you keep thinking it because and I have to keep waking up and I have to keep being alive and there's all this crisis and all these diseases and all this thing and I'm still here I don't understand it let me go see if the tub is full
it's not even close to being full. This is what happens when you use the shower to Let's take a live look at <laughs> the bathtub instead of <laughs> the faucet. The Don't ask why, it's another stupid reason. Anyway, you know what? I, wait a minute. I'll be right Okay, so why do we fill up the bathtub? The reason you fill up the bathtub in times of crisis is, especially if there's like water situation, like say the sewers stop working or whatever, the sewage system stops working and the water stops working or whatever, you don't use it for drinking water, you use it to wash up and use it to flush the toilet. How do you flush the toilet? You get a bucket and you get water out of the tub with the bucket, right? And then when you're done going potty, you pour the water in the toilet and it, the force of the water flushes the toilet. That's how, <laughs> that's why you fill the tub when there's hurricane coming or, you know, nuclear war or whatever. It's so muggy, it's so hot, I feel like shit. I have felt like shit for four months. For four months, I need to do things. I can't do anything. I can't function in here when it's hot. I can't function anywhere when it's hot. I haven't been able to do anything. I'm a garbage human being. My life is not going anywhere. I don't have any more time. I don't have any more hope. I don't know what this is about. I don't know why I spend... I've, I've been having an existential crisis for the last couple months. Why am I still here? That I don't understand. That's why I wanted to talk to a priest. Seems like priests don't talk to people. Actually, I was supposed to go look for a priest today, and I totally forgot. I totally, completely, 100% forgot just now me saying that. I was supposed to go to a different church at the time when they have confession, and I just, it, it completely escaped my mind. Completely escaped my mind until now. I, that's what I was planning yesterday to do today. And I, when I wake up, I can't, that's why I have to write notes, then sometimes I don't look at the note, but... I, I go to sleep and this has been happening for a few years where I used to plan the day the next day then wake up this is what I'm doing the last few years this is why one of the things I feel like I have I'm starting to have cognitive problems I think of all the things I'm going to do the night before I wake up I don't know what they were that's why I have to write them down now because it's like going to sleep is like somebody taking an eraser and just erasing the board, you know, and just wiping away everything I thought. Um, that's only the last few years, like I said, but... So yeah, I don't have any hopes and dreams. I don't like people. Every time I interact with people, it's so much worse. If I told you what I did and how bad it ended up being because of around people, everything reaffirmed that I'm never going to get help, that I can't be around other human beings, just from my own mental health. I can't function on my own going further anymore because I have no money. So I just, I don't know why I'm still here. Disaster after disaster, plague after plague, you know, I get bit by a million mosquitoes. Not one of them can have eastern equine encephalitis or what's the other one? They, every year, everybody's spraying themselves. Me too, like an idiot. Why am I spraying myself? I should be out there at dusk and dawn every day just standing there. Bite me, you know? <laughs> but... <laughs> I, I'm really, I don't get it. I don't know why I'm still here. I'm really fed up. I'm tired. I've been tired. Beyond tired. It's a new level of tired that I reached in the, in the terms of regular tired and sick and tired. And I gotta go check the tub again. I shut it off. It's not completely full. It's practically halfway full. But you know, the stopper's in crooked. So I don't even know. It'll probably all evaporate. But I tried to, I said, oh, the stop is crooked. I tried to pull it out, ended up pulling out the ring. So now it's like stuck. It's stuck crooked. So if it gradually goes down the drain, I tried my best. Um, I was delayed so long that I got too tired to move. I look at my life and I just go, why? The whole thing, why? From beginning to end. And I know it's whiny. I know it's complainy. I know that everybody thinks that I should pull myself up by my bootstraps. I agree. But honestly, 
I don't even know what peach traps are. I admit to being a failure at life. I hate all the air and oxygen and water and anything that I've used. I don't know why I have to keep being alive to keep using them. It just seems like I'm just alive because I am. I'm just alive because I didn't die. There's no reason. There's nothing I want to do. There's no, like I said, no dreams, no hopes that I have. I'm just existing because I exist. And it gets harder every day. And I get more squeezed every day. And the jig is up almost every day. And every day I'm finding out things that I thought were one way and they're the other way. And I just, I can't even... I want to laugh, you know, like Aria laughed when she got to the Eerie and her family was gone. Like, you just can't believe it anymore. But, you know, she had help. She had the hound. She had people to teach her how to be an assassin. Anywhere I go, anytime I try to get help. The problem is that the people that I'm around do not have help for me. I don't understand that. So I don't understand why I was left by the universe, by God, whatever, in a situation where I need help, but the only help available doesn't apply to me. It just seems like there's no help for me. And if I can't do it by myself, which I haven't been able to do, then I'm just like that feather in the wind in, in the forest dump floating around. I don't know. It's not fair. When I think about human life in general, I don't understand it at all anyway. I don't understand the whole purpose of human life. I don't. I don't. People throwing babies over a barbed wire fence. I want to sit there and hate my life. I see that shit and I'm like... My life is shit at a time when the world is shit. And those of us suffering are not the ones causing it. And I ask the universe, why did you put the people in charge who are in charge? They are doing this. And those of us, I mean most of us, it's not just those of us on the very bottom, but those of us who really don't have... Just have to sit here and suffer for the same greedy, stupid people moronic people who just wanted power for whatever reason just to have it and I just I don't understand the days that I wake up scared I think it's because I can't believe I'm waking up again why is this happening again why am I why am I awake again I really think that's what it is I'm like why didn't I die in my sleep I can't deal with life I can't I can't deal with my situation the terror's back. I'm alive again. I'm alive again. I've said before, I know all the people who are struggling and they're going to die. they got a disease or little babies. Like I said, I would trade any day. It's not what happens. So I just wonder why. But anyway, that's long enough of me talking. I didn't think I was going to post again, but I'm just like... Here comes Hurricane Henri. Had to be a fucking Henry. You know, I think maybe Henry is like the worst person name ever. Don't you think so? Henri. Suck it. What was that word that I learned from Brian Schubert at Tender Murd? <laughs> when he was in Vancouver and he. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so I said a bad one, French. Anyway, I didn't think I was going to post again. I know nobody cares, neither do I. I'm not entertaining, I'm not anything, I don't even know. Like I said, I don't know why I exist in the first place. Uh, 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 uh.